नमस्कार एंड वार्म वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रवीण कुमार साहू बिलोंगिंग टू गवर्नमेंट श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी कॉलेज सीतापुर छत्तीसगढ़ इंडिया एंड दिस इज ए लेक्चर पर्टेनिंग टू एम एस सी मैथमेटिक्स सेकेंड सेमेस्टर ऑफ संत गहिरा गुरु यूनिवर्सिटी सरगुजा अंबिकापुर छत्तीसगढ़ एंड द पेपर इज फर्स्ट पेपर एडवांस एबस्ट्रैक्ट एलजेब्रा पार्ट टू एंड द यूनिट इज थर्ड यूनिट एंड दिस इज माई फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दिस थर्ड यूनिट and the topic of this lecture is a very important topic in third unit is splitting fill so let's start the lecture first of all we will see the point that we will discuss in this lecture means outline of the lecture in this lecture first we will briefly review the field extension and the some related concept of it then we will discuss what is splitting fill then we will uh, discuss what is existence of splitting fill now as you have already discussed field extension and its related concept in the previous unit as well as in previous classes but for the sake of completeness let's reverse it if field f is an extension field of some base field k if we know that if k is subset of f means we can say if field extension is a triple k tau and f such that tau from k to f is a non zero ring homomorphism then f is called extension field of base field k and here tau is called an embedding of k into f now here it's clearly this k sits inside f so this mapping is injective now symbol symbolically we write it as f over k means here f is the field extension of some base field k now if f is a field extension of k then we already know that k is is a subfield of f and f forms a vector space over k means f must have a basis and dimension over k now let's see some example complex number is a vector space or field extension over the real number and its element are of the form a plus iota b where iota is the uh, square root of under root minus 1 and a and b are belongs to real number and the base of this is 1 and iota also root 2 adjoint to rational is a vector space of field extension over rational its element up of the form a plus b multiplied by square root of 2 where a and b belongs to rational and here its bases are 1 under root 2 and as we know that iota adjoint to rational q is also a field extension or vector field over rational and its element are of the form a plus iota b here also the base is 1 iota now let's uh, see the uh, definition of degree of field extension as we know already the degree of the field extension is denoted by f is to k and is it is the dimension of f viewed as a vector space over k. Now, if degree of f over k is finite, then k is called finite extension of k. And if degree of f over k is infinite, then k is called infinite extens extension of k. Now, let's see some example. As we have seen, um, yeah, or we know that the complex number over real is a vector space, and its bases are one and iota. So it is a it's what is its degree c over c is to r is 2 means degree of c over r is 2 now r is to q is infinity why why because q is countable and we know that r is uncountable in the same way c is to q is also infinity now as we know that a uh, complex number is obtained by adding iota to r means adjoining i to real number r and we also know that this iota is a root of the polynomial x square plus 1 similarly root 2 adjoint to rational is obtained by adding a root of polynomial x square minus 2 to rational so then we have already seen then that there is a formal connection between the roots of the polynomial and field extension what we have seen let's see now for this we have to define algebraic and transcendental element now we have an element a that lies in field f 
then this a is called algebraic over some base field k if there is a non zero polynomial f belonging to kx such that f of a is zero means a is the root of some non zero polynomial over f now if a is non algebraic then it is called transcendental over some base field k now we know that root 2 is the root in real number of x square minus 2 hence root 2 is algebraic over rational on the other hand pi belongs to real number but is it is not root of any polynomial in rational so pi is transcendental over q or over rational now an extension field f of some base field k is said to be algebraic if every element a that lies in f is algebraic over base field k now let's see what is minimal polynomial if what we have we have a field f this is that is the extension of base field k and a be an element in f such that a is algebraic over k then the minimum polynomial of a over k is the monic polynomial of lowest degree such that it is root of it means m uh, the, if the monic polynomial is denoted by m of a then m of uh, a is equal to zero means a is the root of the uh, monic polynomial of lowest degree then it is called minimal polynomial let's see some example of it for root 2 uh, what we have we have x square minus 2 as a minimal polynomial over rational similarly for root 3 x square minus 3 is minimal minimal polynomial over rational now for iota x square plus 1 will be minimal polynomial over rational similarly for omega that is a cube root of unity x square plus x plus 1 will be minimal polynomial over rational now 2 to the power 1 by 3 will have minimal polynomial what x to the power 3 minus 2 similarly 2 to the power 1 by 4 o has many uh, minimal polynomial x, x to the power 4 minus 2 over rational so these are some examples of minimal polynomial now we will see what is simple extension now what we have we have a field f that is extension of some base field k now if there is exist an element a that lies in f such that f is equal to ka means a adjoined to k we by adjoining a to k we obtain the field k then k is called simple extension means if we obtain the field f by adjoining just one element then it is called simple extension and the degree of the field extension k or k is sometimes also called degree of a or k now let's see some example now we know that complex number is obtained by adjoining i to real number so c is equal to iota adjoint r is a simple extension of r real number similarly root 2 adjoint to q is a simple extension over rational q because root 2 adjoint to because we adjoin just one element root 2 to base q now we know that if f is a field extension or some base field k then f is called finitely generated if there are finitely many element a1 a2 and so on a n such that f can be obtained by adjoining a1 a2 and so on a n to base field k and we called it finite if degree of f or k is finite now you have already seen this theorem you have also proved it uh, but uh, let's see what is the statement of the theorem if we have a uh, field f that is a uh, extension field of some base field k then following three are equivalent first is f is finite and the second is there exist finitely finitely many element a1 a2 up to a n such that that lies in f and that are algebraic over base field k such that f is obtained by adjoining a1 a2 and so on a n to base field k and f is third is f is finitely generated and algebraic all these three are equivalent up to this you have already studied in previous classes and previous unit now so let's start a topic of the today's lecture splitting field what we have we have a k as a field and uh, we have a polynomial f that belongs to kx k of x now a field f that contains k means 
f is the extension of the some base field k is called a splitting field of polynomial f over k if it satisfies two properties. What is this? First is polynomial f is split into linear factor over field f means f polynomial f can be written as c times x minus t1 x minus t2 and so on x minus tn where c lies in k and t1 t2 and so on tn lies in f and the second property is that field f can be obtained by adjoining t1 t2 and so on tn to base field k means we can say splitting field is the smallest field extension which contains the field and all the root of the polynomial f then we say that uh, f is, field f is the splitting field of polynomial f over k now what do we have let's revise if f splits in extens extension field f over k then it factor as a product of linear term means what we have we have only linear term then f is called splitting field if f is split over f but not in any smaller field so let's see some example suppose we have an uh, polynomial x square minus 2 over rational then so this is split over real number as x minus root 2 and x plus root 2 but r is not r means the real number are not economical so this is not a splitting field we actually have a smaller field which is root to adjoint to uh, rational which is the splitting field for the polynomial x square minus 2 now consider another polynomial x to the power 3 minus 2 again over rational then we know that this is split as x minus 2 to the power 1 by 3 x minus omega into 2 to the power 1 by 3 x minus omega square into 2 to the power 1 by 3 where omega is the cube root of unity then so this polynomial is splits over complex number but this the complex number c is very big we want something smaller so it is splits over cube 2 to the power 1 by 3 omega but it does not split over a smaller field q to the power 1 by 3 because this field q uh, 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational does not contain the complex number omega the cube root of unity so notice that by the uniqueness of the simple algebraic extension that we have already studied in previous classes or previous units we know that there is a isomorphism to this is isomorphic to q to the q to the power 1 by 3 because 2 to the power 1 by 3 is root of x to the power 3 minus 2 also it is isomorphic to q omega to the power 1 by 3 because omega to the power 1 by 3 is also root of x to the power 3 minus 2 so this two field omega to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational and 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational are isomorphic to each other means we can construct an isomorphism between these two field notice this although you can construct an isomorphism between these two field they are this distinct why because 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to q lies in real number but omega to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational does not lie in real number because it has omega the cube root of unity and you can see it is a complex number you have iota right here so although these two uh, field are isomorphic they are distinct now we already know that the any polynomial will split over c this is already known to us uh, by from analysis now, thus for an irreducible polynomial over a field a k to get a splitting field, you just want you just have to know what are the roots of that polynomial, and after knowing the roots, you have to attach the roots to the field, and you will get the splitting field. Means if the roots of the polynomial are r one r two all the way r n then attach them to your field and this will give you a splitting field means like here you get a splitting field as r1 r2 all the way rn adjoining to k you get the splitting field so our first result that we want to prove in this lecture 
is a splitting field exist now just looking at this you can say splitting field exist but we want to prove this so let's just start existence of a splitting field for a non constant polynomial f belongs to base field k there is a splitting field f now if degree of f is 1 then there is nothing to prove means it's already in linear so we have nothing to prove now what we are doing we are using the induction method so to go further we use induction method as k is n is equal to 1 is already done now so we can write the induction statement which is means we can suppose that the statement is true for all the polynomial of degree less than f now we already know that the irreducible factor of f will split in some extension field of f over k in fact this is the procedure of constructing a splitting field as we have already seen means here you take the field and the uh, modulo out by your irreducible polynomial it will always give you extension field which will contain the root of the equation uh, uh, root of the polynomial just like here uh, you modulo this out you can guess this or this meant you can get either 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational or omega 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational so you always get an extension field where this splits now suppose we have 2 to the power 1 by 3 adjoint to rational we have only one factor x minus 2 to the power 1 by 3 the second factor and the third factor will be still irreducible over this field means what we can have we can have fx as x minus r1 into g of x <coughs> now we will use induction step means what we will use as we know that degree of g is less than degree of f so by induction g will split let's just root r r2 r3 all the way up to rn and what we have we have r1 here so we have, you just get the splitting field by adjoining r1 then you adjoin R2 and R3 all the way up to R1 and you get the splitting field like this means we get the splitting field R1, R2 all the way Rn by adjoining this to the base field K. Now, the important statement here is that splitting field R in a sense unique means splitting field R unique up to the isomorphism. We will see this in the next lecture. That's all for today's lecture. Thank you.